Hi guys, I'm Carly and I'm so excited to share this video and share my dear friend Adrian with you. Ah, oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me and thank you guys for tuning in. This is something you can practice anywhere, anytime. Alrighty everyone, let's begin standing at the top of the mat in mountain pose. We're jumping right in here, so start to connect to your breath right away, making the most of this mindful moment, this chance to connect to the body in a meaningful way. Find what feels good. When you're ready, draw the hands together. And we're gonna start with a little movement for the wrist. So you're gonna take your fingertips forward and down, get a big stretch, and then bring it all the way back up. And then forward and down, get a big stretch. And then we're gonna bring it up, and then we're just gonna go through one more round. So take a deep breath in, and when you're ready, start to dial the fingertips forward, around and down. And if this is way too tight for you, a great modification would be to just interlace the fingertips and press the palms forward. You're gonna get a great stretch here. Many of you probably already know this. Take a deep breath in. Use an exhale to relax your shoulders down. Beautiful, then we'll slowly release the fingertips down to come up, volcano pose. You can spread your fingertips, reach your hands, arms all the way up towards the sky, volcano pose. Thumbs back, pinkies forward everyone, and then ground down through the back. Whatever that means to you, find a lift in the front, a ground in the back. We're here for three, two and on the one. We're gonna take the right hand and grab the left wrist and then think up and over as you stretch the left side body. Keep the neck nice and long. You can stay here, or another option would be to connect to your center, connect to your core, and you're just gonna slide your left toes behind your right to get a little deeper stretch. So to each his own, take one more deep breath in. Exhale to come all the way back to center, release the hands, reach it up, keep them lifting, 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 great for circulation. We'll take the left hand, clasp the right wrist. A big side body stretch here, slowly taking that right foot behind, hug the low ribs in, breathe into it, one more big breath in and then exhale to release back to center. Imagine you have a big beach ball up and overhead. We'll take a deep breath in and we're gonna dive right in, bending the knees and slowly easing into extended forward fold. Bend your knees generously, take a deep breath in and really get a nice stretch in the low back as you breathe deeply and fully into all four sides of the torso. Now shake the head a little yes and no. And then release that. We're gonna clasp opposite elbow with the hands here, bend the knees even more, and nice and easy, swaying a little bit side to side, noticing if you're holding any tension in the neck, those trap muscles. Soften your gaze or close your eyes for one more cycle of breath here, allowing that fresh oxygen, that fresh blood to flow to your beautiful brain. Then release the fingers to the ground. <sighs> Tuck the chin, stay grounded through your feet as we slowly roll up through the spine and come back to our best and most beautiful mountain pose. Take a deep breath in, use the exhale to relax the shoulders down. And we're gonna just slide the hands to the tops of the thighs. You can kind of send your booty back just a bit. We wanna find flexion in the spine. So we're gonna inhale, maybe feel a little silly here for the first couple tries, but you're gonna create a long puppy belly as I like to call it here. Just that image, just so nice. And then on the exhale, rounding through, chin to chest, you're gonna create a hollow front body. Navel to spine getting that great stretch and then here we go. Inhale, carving a line with the nose, forward, up, and then we open up through the throat and then on the exhale, chin to chest, rounding through. All right, one more cycle, so make it awesome. Inhale, open, long belly. Exhale, round through, chin to chest. Beautiful, then slowly straighten the legs, roll it up. You can loop the shoulders forward, up and back. Try not to look down here. Try to keep your chin lifted and your gaze out as you bring the feet together right underneath you. And we're gonna start by bringing the hands to the waist, line, just a little Wonder Woman pose here. Draw your shoulder blades together, lift your chest, take a deep breath in. 
And then as you exhale, you can move as slow as you want. Don't let anybody rush you, right? Move at your own pace. You're gonna take your right foot all the way back. Just trust that the ground is there. Oh, it is there to catch you. From here, we're gonna pivot on the back foot, bring that right heel to the ground. And then don't worry about squaring the hips, but we are gonna lift the heart and think of this long, beautiful line from the base of the spine all the way to the tippy tip top crown of the head. Press into the outer edge of your right foot, lift up through your inner arch, try to engage your right inner thigh, whatever that means to you. You can stay here if you're feeling fine, or we'll take the fingertips forward, up and back, just like we did in volcano pose for the full posture. Thumbs back, pinkies forward. Find your focus here. Listen to the sound of your breath. If you're feeling brave, inhale, carve a line with your nose, look up, and then exhale, hands come back to the waistline, connect to your center of your core. You're just gonna step the right foot up and then move to the second side, left foot back. We pivot on the back foot, we find that length through the spine, hands can stay on the waistline here, or we'll take it all the way up, full posture, warrior one. See if you can take one cycle of breath here where you hear your breath. Gorgeous. Then stay grounded in the legs as you slowly bring your hands back down to the waist. Then draw your belly button in and up for a little stability as you slowly step your back foot up to meet the front. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Tapping right into a nice strong mountain pose here with the hands on the waistline. Take a deep breath in. And when you're ready, shift your weight to your left foot, step the right foot back. This time we're gonna challenge ourselves by keeping the heel up. Draw your inner thighs in towards the midline and then let's send the fingertips up for the full posture, high lunge. And if you're feeling off balance today, you can bring that back heel down or you can keep your hands on your waist. And if you're feeling adventurous, take your gaze all the way up, wiggle the fingertips. And then when you're ready, slowly rain it down. Hands come to the waistline. So we're gonna do something fun today. It's optional, so you're just gonna jump switch. Here we go, inhale in, jump switch. And if not, you can just go step, step. You know what to do. Pull the right hip crease back. When you're ready, reach the fingertips up. Breathe. Find that lift through the front body, that grounding through the back body. Take one more breath as you maybe look up, wiggle the fingertips, and then exhale to rain it down. Hands come to the waistline here. We're gonna bend the back knee and step it up whenever you're ready. You can step your right foot back, reach the fingertips up high. We're gonna draw the navel in and up just a bit, just to find our center here. And then we're gonna use this challenge, connect to your core, take your right fingertips forward and your left fingertips back. Squeeze your inner thighs into the midline for stability, hug your low ribs in. Awesome, beautiful length in the neck. Breathing into the twist here. You can stay here if you want a little challenge. Take your right fingertips and bring them all the way up towards the ceiling as your left fingertips go all the way down towards your right thigh. Big stretch through the right side body here, gorgeous. Inhale in, exhale, slowly come back to center. Hands come to the waistline. Great, and we can switch it out here by doing a jump or we can step, step, back to that high lunge whenever you're ready, reaching for the sky. Here we go, second side, moving into a twist, pulling the right hip crease back, keeping that navel drawing up and in. Opening up through the chest here, drawing the shoulder blades together. This is challenging, guys, especially when we have super tight shoulders, so breathe deep. And then the last bit here, it's optional, is to take the right fingertips down, reach the left fingertips all the way up. Eventually, you might even clasp the outer thigh here as you get a big stretch. Take a deep breath in, find that inner smile. And then exhale to melt it all the way back to center, hands on the waist, and we'll step it up into mountain. Hands on the waistline here. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders. Just take a moment to connect. And then when you're ready, we're gonna step the right foot back. So we'll pivot on the back foot. And then here we go. We're gonna send both fingertips forward. You're gonna imagine you're pulling a bow and arrow here. So take your right fingertips, drag them across your left arm, across the chest, very Joan of Arc here. And then we send the fingertips all the way out in opposite directions here for warrior two. The front knee is over the front ankle. The back toes are turned in. We pull the pinkies back, align head over heart, heart over pelvis. And now we're gonna flip it and reverse it. So keep that front knee bent, draw a line with the left fingertips all the way up, relax your shoulders, take one more deep breath in, 
and then exhale. Listen carefully, you're gonna cartwheel it all the way back, come all the way down. We're gonna come to our forward fold at the top of the mat. Beautiful, tuck the chin, roll it up. I like the zombie pose, rolling it up. Inhale in, shoulders down. And then we don't need to look, the ground is there to catch us. Pivot on the back foot. And then here we go, fingertips reach forward. We're gonna pull our bow and arrow all the way back, bend that front knee. Back toes are turned in. We're opening up through the hips here. Find that alignment of head over heart and heart over pelvis. We'll draw a big rainbow as we reach forward, up and back. Flip it and reverse it, the peaceful warrior. This is our last pose, so find a big, beautiful breath here in and out, gorgeous. And then here we go, big cartwheels. We exhale all the way forward, around, and down to that forward fold. Take your time, take your time, and we'll roll it up to our final beautiful mountain pose. And in yoga, in Sanskrit, we call this Tadasana. And sometimes I say, Tadasana, Tadasana. Adrian, thank you for this gift. You are so, so wonderful, and we're lucky to have you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for having an open mind and an open heart. Namaste. Namaste.